Hello and welcome to this Cloudberry training video. My name is Sharif George and I'm the founder of Cloudberry and today I want to take you through a very special feature that I found very very useful over the years in Outlook 2010. It's very similar for 2007 and very similar for 2003 but we're going to use 2010 because it's nice good cutting edge technology. We're going to look at how to organize your Outlook contacts so that later on you can refine your contacts when you're doing your mail merge. Whenever you put a contact into Microsoft Outlook, if you record as much information as you can in there, this makes it easier for you to get to those contacts later or just see the contacts that you want to see. Let's launch Microsoft Outlook. Here it is. As you can see, we've gone straight into a contacts folder and our first contact is there, ready to be edited. We're going to two clicks on the header there and here we have Mr. Mervyn Mouse. This is the normal contact record that you would normally see. There's nothing wrong with just filling this in. That gives you a lot of information that's very useful. Don't forget to use the notes field. It's free text searchable. So when you're searching for things in your contacts, anything you've put in here will come up. But the really powerful part of Microsoft Outlook 2010 contacts is the all fields button. Here it is up here. And we're going to take a look at one specific one. We're going to look at the miscellaneous fields today. There's a lot of information in here that you can use. Uh, for example, account, which you can give an account name or an account number. A customer ID, that's always quite useful. Here we have reminders. Reminders are quite useful. Down the bottom here, you have reminder, reminder here, which is a straight yes or no. And then a date for the reminder and a time for the reminder. This has got to be done in proper calendar format. So that's if we say the 21st, and instead of 1900, we're going to say 1038. And now that will pop up a reminder for you at that time. And you can also give a reminder topic. We're going to phone him. But the real power is just underneath this. Let's take a look at these user fields. Now for me, I use these user fields in a particular way. So I'm going to use this for this demonstration. But obviously, have a think about it before you start. The important thing here is consistently see. Make a list, user field 1, user field 2, 3, and 4. And on that list, write down what you're going to use each field for. Okay. I use user field 1 for unsubscribe. If somebody has said to me, please do not send me information, an X in the unsubscribe field means I can easily take them off the list when I'm sending a mail shot. User field 2, for me, is where I met them. So this would be NRG West End. I can type. OK. And I leave it as a free text field. User field 3 is what they're interested in, if they've expressed an interest. For example, if they've expressed an interest in Cloudberry Tech Team, I'll type that in there. And finally, my user field 4 I use for product information. Our products each have a number. That's 12, 11, and 4. Now, later on, when I want to search for this information, let's say I wanted to find out everybody that uh, I can email who is interested in Cloudberry Tech Team. When I do my filter, I search for user field th 3 equals Cloudberry Tech Team. It's very important to keep this information standard and make sure you don't have any repeating characters in here. I could use CTT and a space and CB for Cloudberry and I'd be able to use more than one filter on each field. This is very powerful. You can rename these fields for the view but that doesn't make any difference to how they're searched for when you're doing a filter. So, four powerful fields that you can use to help refine your contacts plus a little hint on reminders. My name's Sharif George. This is a Cloudberry training video. Cloudberry provide top quality IT support for small businesses and consultants. Why not give us a call 0845 260 9800 or email me at sgeorge at itjustworks.uk.com. Thank you for watching.